Breaking news, the Chicago Bears have offered a contract to offensive lineman Ryan Bates. So let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking, of course, man. I fell here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below, folks. I have been covering the Chicago Bears like a blanket in the entire free agency period, and I will continue to do so. So make sure you're locked in to the channel. All right, people, let's get into this. So the Chicago Bears reportedly, according to Brad Biggs, who is a reporter for the Chicago Bears from the Chicago Tribune, he has stated that the Bears have an offer sheet out to offensive lineman Ryan Bates, which Ryan Bates intends to sign. Now, keep in mind, he is a restricted free agent. So that means Buffalo has the opportunity to match any offer. So they will have five days to match the offer. Again, it says he's intended, intends, excuse me, to sign. So we don't know if he's actually signed it yet. But whenever he does, which is the expectation, the Bills will have five days to match. So let's talk about this, whether or not it's a, it's a good move for the Bears. And we'll start with Ryan Bates. The background on Ryan Bates, a lot of you guys may not know about him. So Ryan Bates uh, played his college football at Penn State, came to the NFL as an undrafted free agent, and he signed with the Philadelphia Eagles. So real quick connection there at Penn State. Uh, you know, we had Joe Moorhead there, who was obviously the mentor for the Bears current OC, Lou Getze. And then when you get to the Eagles, we talk about him being there around the time that the assistant GM now for the Bears, Ian Cunningham, was there. So connect the dots, right? There's a lot of these connections here. And that's what we've noticed with the Bears' new regime is it's everybody kind of going after their guy. Lou Getze, Ryan Poles, uh, Ian Cunningham, et cetera, et cetera. So the same thing here with the connection for Penn State and Philadelphia. All right, so that's the background there. In terms of that, after Philadelphia, he got traded over to the Bills, where he has played the rest of his career. Now he's still very relatively young. He's 25 years old. Um, but in his short career, what has he done so far? So last season, let's just take a look at that as a sample. Uh, almost 300 snaps, just a little bit less than that. 160 passing snaps, 131 run snaps. And in that sample size, zero, excuse me if I can make a proper zero, zero sacks allowed and just one penalty. So you saw even in the limited production, he was still able to showcase the talent that you'd like to see. Um, as far as his grades, a 75 pass blocking snap, 61 in terms of run blocking. That basically means he's better at pass protection than he is as, as run blocking. But overall, folks, He's talented. He's young. He's talented. So uh, this would be a good move for the Chicago Bears who still need to upgrade their offensive line, right? Their offensive line is not done yet. Uh, we signed Lucas Patrick. That's great. We have obviously Tevin Jenkins, uh, Larry Borum, Cody Whitehair. We lost James Daniels, but you need to add more talent. And that is what Ryan Bates can do. So would love for the Bears to be able to hang on to this offer, meaning the Bills don't match. Um, and we get to keep Ryan Bates. And here's the thing. When the contract comes out, if it sounds like the old Bears overpaid a little bit, so be it. Because in restricted free agency, especially, in free agency especially, you have to overpay. You have to overpay in unrestricted, unrestricted free agency. So think about how much you have to overpay in restricted free agency. And we've seen the Bears are going after these young guys with potential, these hard-nosed, blue-collar guys. And Ryan Bates is one of them. So... I would love this move for the Chicago Bears. I think this would be a good one. Now, it all hinges on the Buffalo Bills, whether or not they match the offer. So let's see what happens there. But let me know what you guys think about this. Ryan Bates signing an offer sheet with the Bears or intending to. Good move or bad move for you guys. For me, it's a good move. Leave a comment down below as always. Thanks for watching.